What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video as per usual. How we doing today, guys? Make sure to drop 20K in the comments. We're going to go over some snipe filters that I've been using that you guys must use right now. Do this right now to make that MT. As you can see, got a pretty decent amount of MT. Got those tokens stacked. Believe me, this video is pre-recorded for today, Sunday. I'm um, away right now, but you can still drop some questions down below. Make sure to drop 20,000 in the comments, like the vid, and sub if you are new. Um, Yeah, guys, please drop the sub. It would mean a lot. But yeah, so let's get into it. We got top five snipe filters in 2K20 right now. And yeah, there is a lot. You do got to know some pricing. So hit me up in the comments. If you do need some help with some pricing, I will answer. You can also hit me up on Twitter, just at me, because for some reason my DMs don't work. I don't know why, so at me, and then I'll just slide your DMs, and I'll help. So uh, without further ado, let's get into some snipes. Let's get into the top snipe filters in this video. So we're going to start off with a basic one, and it's pretty much just silvers, bro. This, this filter has been working for me for so long, and honestly, I've been making so much MT off of it. So pretty much... The way you rock with this filter is pretty much just simply doing exactly what I'm doing. Um, you can move your minimum. I like moving my minimum. Personally, you could also move a minimum bid, but uh, I don't know if it's that effective, but this is my theory. So as you can see, I have most players already. So what I do, I usually buy some out and um, put them in my uh, collection so they do not show anymore. So right there, I don't have Rondo, but he is on the Lakers. So what you want to look for is Kings players, Nuggets, some Nuggets players. Uh, it really just depends. Even some Celtics players go for a lot. There's a lot of collections that Loki go for a lot. Pretty much any collection with a Ruby or less is the key collection. So eat whatever you get for around 1,200 MT um, is money. Considering whatever you get is pretty much an automatic snipe i guess you would say anything you get is pretty much you're going to make a minimum of like 100 to 200 mt so yeah this is a lower budget one we're going to move into the next filter and this one is pretty solid it's heat check um heat check filter is low-key the most money filter because they're a lot harder to get than silvers there's not a lot of people pop heat check packs so there is a higher demand for them because people should try to complete these sets like me and what you want to do is set your thing to around 1650. Pretty much every single card that pops up in this filter is a snipe. Um, make sure it does say 3 hours and 59 minutes. So as I'm in this filter, 3 hours and 59 minutes is the method. You could pick up that Kent Bazemore is not a bad idea. But also another really good day to snipe these is on Moments, Moments Day, which is a Monday. Because a lot of, a lot of kids spam heat check packs. So yeah, um, would recommend spamming these heat check packs. Uh, I mean, would recommend spamming the heat check filter. Let me know how it goes. It's a pretty solid method. I pretty much made like 500k MT off this off this method alone. Like no joke. I about two weeks ago, this was the best snipe make snipe filter in the game. It has slowed down a little bit. There is a little. I like the silver method more right now because heat checks are slow. So really, Monday is the best day to snipe out heat checks. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the heat check filter. You can pretty much just get anything. If you get thunder players, some players do go for a lot than others, but pretty much anything that pops up for this filter is money. So we're, with that said, we're going to head into the next filter. Pretty simple. Pretty much all these si filters are simple, but yeah, let's get into this filter right here. First off, I'm going to tell you this right now. If any new content drops, the amethyst filter for the new content is always money and it's quick and fast, even diamonds. But um, yeah, this filter is actually really good for stacking up. If you have like 50k MC, this is the filter for you. Um, amethyst, 2,400. Right here, snipe right there. Psh, I missed it. I think he goes around 5k. Um, we're going to check out his price. So right there, the first refresh was a snipe, I believe. But listen, these snipes are low-key lower filter snipes. So you're not going to expect that much. So right there, I would have made a solid 1,000 MT. Not bad, bro. It adds up if you think about it. 30,000, I would buy that and then sell them for 34. Um, this this snipe filter is good for stacking. For instance, I got a couple Trishan Thompsons around 2K. His stats are actually pretty good. So 
I would recommend trying to snap out Tristan Thompson's. Any new moments that come out, pretty much uh, any Amethyst 20s that come out. So yeah, this is my method. This filter is really freaking good. And uh, yeah, I would try out this filter, especially. Um, try to stay away from Boozer. Try to stay away from Antonio McDyess. Other than that, filter's pretty money. If it starts lagging, I would back out and go back in because it does lag sometimes and shows cards that were bought out already. So just try to keep moving out your buy out your buy now. Um, that's another method, you guys. So next filter. This one does require a minimum of 50 KMT because you need to buy out a couple players and um, two players that you need to buy out. Three players you need to buy out. You need to buy out Earl Monroe Diamond. You need to buy out Jamal Wilkes Diamond, and you need to buy out Jerry West Diamond for this filter. So. Before I get into that, buy those players. It's gonna cost you around 35 KMT. Wilkes goes for around 18, West goes for around 14, 13, and Urban Rose like four. And it costs 30, I would say 25 to 30 K. Try snipe them out. Then you wanna put them in your collection. Um, you wanna put them in your collection and then um, press enable. So as you can see in my collection, I do have, um, which set is it? So here it is. It's in the Kareem one. I got Wilkes, Jerry West, and then I have Earl Monroe. I think he's in the Prime or he's in the Legacy one right here. Yeah, so I have him in the Legacy. So now that's what you want to do. You want to do Diamond, Enabled, and you pretty much just want to scroll through and look for 3 hours and 59 minutes. You do want to put lower. If you want to buy Austin Car 2, that would help the filter. But as you can see, you do have to scroll down a little bit in this filter, but you could get a lot of things for the low. And honestly, I think that Matumbo might be a snipe. I'm not totally sure. Diamond Matumbo. Oh, 27K. I think this was already bought out, wasn't it? Ah, it was bought out. So I just missed a snipe right there on the first refresh. Would have made a solid 5K in about two seconds. So you do need MT for these filters. They do work out. But honestly, I'm going to be honest. The most consistent filter in the game is going to be the Silver Heat Checks. They are lower priced MT. But diamond, this diamond filter has been working out pretty freaking good for me. So I would also recommend this filter. Um, it's pretty freaking good. 20K buyout, whatever you want to do. You can just keep switching the prices. If you want to put your max bid to 100K, that also works. That's a snipe. Oh, baby, we got it. So another snipe. I don't think he goes for that much, though. Let's see. He, he can't be that much. It's probably a very small snipe. 26K. 27 all right i'll take that uh 22 all right so i'm gonna sell them this just got posted that'll sell out i'm gonna sell them for 24k i'm gonna make a solid 3k now i made 3k in one minute that's pretty solid you could play like six triple threat games to get that and now with that being said we're gonna move into the best filter in the game it is very time consuming though this filter i've missed a hakeem olajuwon i missed a larry bird i missed I miss Derrick Rose. I miss Tracy. On this filter, it's very competitive. That's why I would say it's the best profit-wise, but it's so damn hard to get cards. So now here it is. Pink Diamond, 100K, 100K. Um, you want to scroll down at 3 hours and 59 minutes. You guys pretty much know the cards that go for a lot of MT. Um, but yeah, man, this filter is straight money if you do get something. What I like to do... You can put your minimum to like 99, 98K. Not a lot of people put up cards for like 98K. So move your minimum down to 90 something and just scroll through. Look for a pink diamond T-Mac, a pink diamond Tracy, a pink diamond Larry Bird, pink diamond anything, bro. This filter is so money. Believe me, trust the process. And another one, as you can see, a booger has got, oh, Bob Pettit 100K. That just got posted. So filters low key kind of quick. I just saw a, a starred up Bob Pettit for 100K. He was up there for seven minutes. I wanted to buy it, but I feel like he's not that profitable. But uh, yeah, what you want to do, and also, if an AI pops up for 100K with contracts, the unlimited contracts and stuff, I would buy it. As well as pretty much anything that pops up with 100, like that's worth 100K. But uh, you could, if you get one with like unlimited contracts, you can put them up for 100K bid, and kids might bid on it for 110. So that's another tip for you guys. Look for contracts on this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. These are definitely the top snipe builders in the game. But others, like I said, when new content comes out, snipe builders do change. Like when, let's say they drop a new content. This is pre-recorded, so let's say they drop new content on a Friday. Whatever they drop on that Friday, try to snipe out those cards in the set. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I got, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. Top five snipe filters are done. Let me know how these snipes work. Let me know if you got anything. Tw DM me on Twitter or whatever if you do get a snipe. But without further ado, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.